to the part two edition of this animation assignment. And currently we're working on making it rain. And so where we left off is we had an animated rain scene and we have a cloud kind of sitting at the top. All of this existing within a single movie clip. And so if I zoom out here, you'll see that this is kind of what our whole movie clip uh, looks like. Um, right now we just have one layer and inside of it is all of this animation of the cloud with the uh, rainfall effect happening um, within it, inside of it. So what we can do now is uh, I double click to go inside of this movie clip. We're gonna add a new layer and that's gonna be right in between the cloud and the rain. And we're gonna call this one lightning. All right, and what we want to do is go ahead and I'm actually going to lock all of my layers by clicking on the lock uh, key above the timeline and then just unlock this one lightning layer here because that's what we're going to be working on drawing is a bolt of lightning. So if I zoom in on my stage a little bit here, um, the pen that we will use is the pen tool. You wanna to make both your stroke and fill colors white and we can go ahead and start drawing a lightning bolt. So start at one point that kind of starts inside the cloud and then come out a little bit ways and we'll make a few uh, branches for a lightning bolt. And so we'll have this kind of come out a little bit more. Maybe then this one will kind of fork into two. And then maybe this will end somewhere over here, but I can always take and stretch these points out and adjust them later on. So there we go. That looks like a pretty good outline for a lightning bolt. Like I said, I think I might take this ending point and stretch it out a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it first and now I can see this a little bit better for what it is. So like we said, I'm gonna take this point and maybe kind of stretch it out a little bit more. Um, maybe bring this point in just a bit more. Um, just play with the positioning of the different kind of points in your lightning bolt. You don't want it to be too thin at the ends, or too thick at the ends rather. It should be a little bit thinner um, at the ends than, um, than at the beginning points. And it's what I'm seeing right now is I have a snapping feature going on. Um, which I, I'm not going to kind of mess with that too much right now. Um, but some of these angles aren't quite holding the way I want. Okay, so that looks all right there. I want to bring out this point here. Um, okay, so that's actually a point that's up there. There we go. Grabbed it. Um, all right, so that looks a little bit better. Let's see if I can take this corner here and maybe adjust the positioning of this line. Um, again, just to get a good, it looks like I have a few points going on in here. Um, I, you know, if you can take some and drag some out other ways though, um, you know, that makes it just a little more interesting and unique of a, of a shape that you have going on. And so, um, you know, here I might just go ahead and, and work with this uh, shape, just kind of how it is. Um, so that kind of makes things a little more unique um, and interesting as far as kind of lightning bolt shapes go. There we go, nice. So that looks pretty good actually. Um, and maybe just pulling and dragging this one in so that it's a little bit, oops this line in a little bit here. There we go. Now we're starting to get this to come together. Uh, I'm just going to narrow a couple more of these uh, angles. Pull this line a little bit more into place. Nice. Okay, so now I think we got a pretty cool lightning bolt shape going there. Um, what we're going to do is actually animate this lightning bolt in a way that we haven't actually done yet. And we're going to do that by creating what's called a layer mask. Um, and so I'd like you to create a new layer over this lightning bolt layer, and we're going to call this one a mask. Oops, let's go 
layer mask, right? Um, and in order to animate a layer mask, we're going to draw a shape that kind of unveils this lightning bolt, okay? So uh, first thing I want to do is actually on this first mask layer here, uh, make sure you're on the first keyframe of your mask layer. We're going to take our kind of rectangle, uh, rectangular drawing shape tool. We're going to take no uh, outline color and we'll take a bright color um, that's going to stand out against everything and that's this light green color I think will work well. Um, okay so I'm drawing it right now I need to actually turn off visibility of my cloud layer because where I'm going to draw this is going to be underneath the cloud and so I kind of need to be able to see it. Um, what this rectangle should do is it should be big enough to hide the very end of your lightning bolt. I'm just trying to adjust this again into a square. It's not really that big a deal, but um, yeah, so there we go. That's what this first uh, layer should look like. Now I'm going to right click on this mask layer and I'm going to go down to mask in my, um, op on my uh, options there. And you're going to see that this everything disappeared with the lightning bolt except for the part where I drew the mask. Okay, so what the mask does is it reveals um, something in your animation. Um, that just it automatically locks it usually to make sure that you don't um, mess with anything. But what we're actually going to do is go ahead and we're going to open up this animation to maybe 20 frames or so. So uh, clicking on the 20th frame in our first. Uh, layer and then holding shift and clicking down to the bottom one or vice versa um, and then hitting the F5 key on our keyboard will open up this animation timeline a little bit here um, and what we're going to want to do is actually uh, change this mask in a keyframe style so I'm going to hit uh, F6 on the second keyframe and now I'm going to stretch this square so that it's a little bit bigger. Um, in other words, it is revealing a little bit more of this lightning bolt. Um, when you get that a little bit further, we're going to hit F6 again. And now we're going to stretch this mask a little bit. Oops, grab the whole thing. I'm going to have to click off the side and then click on the mask again in order to get it to go further. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead, F6 again. Now I'm going to take, um, oops, again, click off to the side, click on part of your mask, stretch it again to kind of fit, make this bigger. Um, again, I'm going to go F6 and then take this mask and extend it a little bit larger that way. And then F6 one more time so that I can include the very for this most part of that lightning bolt. So now what you should see is if I go to animate this, as I kind of scroll through here, this mask is actually revealing. So where you paint with a mask reveals part of an animation. So um, you won't be able to see the lightning bolt at all on the first frame, but by the last frame, it will all be revealed because of the mask. Okay, and we'll, we'll go into using this um, more in some other areas of our animations, but um, for right now, oops, it looks like I'm not seeing that portion. So let me just see what I have going on here. So this mask is not animating, even though it is going through keyframe style in here. Um, okay, so I have to do a little troubleshooting here on the fly. I have this going frame by frame, unveiling, um, but it is inside. Okay, so maybe what I need to make sure, aha, this, I had made a graphic at first. This needs to be a movie clip. There we go. So now you have the lightning bolt flashing. Um, I guess what I had done was initially created this uh, this whole rain cloud image as a graphic and not a movie clip. So um, if you had also followed that step along, you're going to have to do that, um, change that in order to have this play.
All right, so that one problem solved. Now we can move on um, to just making one slight different um, piece to our animation happen is when uh, we want this cloud, I'm just making those visible again, when the uh, lightning becomes visible, we actually want the cloud to get lighter. Okay, so we're going to take this cloud shape and we're going to go ahead and keyframe animate it getting lighter. So if I hit F6 here, um, now I want to make this cloud a shade lighter than it already is. So I'm just going to go to another lighter sh shade of gray, hit F6 here, and now I'm going to make this cloud another shade lighter of gray, F6 here. We'll go another shade lighter, and then F6 again, and one more time, we're out to like a full white. And so that's what should happen with this animation, is that the cloud gets lighter as the lightning bolt drops, and then it stays white. Now, um, what should really happen is that um, this lightning bolt actually comes out, but then it goes away. We don't want it to just stay out here like that, and the cloud should go back to its dark gray color. Okay, so last thing we'll have to do is actually take on this last layer of our mask, we'll do another F6 keyframe, and then we're just going to delete our mask. So that is just gonna go to a blank frame. Okay, now although it looks like the lightning bolt's still there, the mask isn't there to reveal it. So that won't be there anymore. And then, like I said, we're gonna actually just take this keyframe. I can just go ahead, right click, and copy this frame. And then I'll go down to the end here, and then I will uh, paste this frame right in there. So let's test that out one more time. Oops, so actually what's happening there, okay, so this didn't work quite like I had anticipated. So the mask reveals the lightning and then the mask is gone. So why does, okay, so that s continues to stay there. Um, let's see. So maybe what I need to do is actually on this lightning bolt layer, um, I could go ahead and create a new keyframe and then um, just delete the lightning bolt there um, and that should do probably what I want it to do. So, all right, that looks like that solved that. So now we have the, uh, the cloud kind of getting slightly lighter and the lightning bolt flashing out of the sky. And feel free to add any other details, maybe a little bit of a background or, um, or anything hanging out in the rain here that maybe shouldn't be, um, or more lightning bolts, all right? And be creative and have some fun. Hopefully you have lots of success with this lesson.